there's a huge wave of creatives, entrepreneurs moving to Lisbon right now. It's the energy of this place. So many people coming here loving Lisbon and connecting with each other. It's incredible. It's bringing a lot of new business, a lot of creatives, new jobs. That whole package of having also a nice um, and open and inviting culture of the people here. So Lisbon is really unique because it has this incredible history, but there's so much that's new and innovative and exciting happening here. There's a lot of incredible artists here. Everybody's so passionate about what they do. That passion is contagious. Creatively, the city benefits because there are people from all walks of life who are investing into their lives here in the city. Have you ever felt like a connection to a place that you've never visited before, kind of like a second home? That's how Lisbon felt. Everything from the people, the culture, the food. Once I landed here, I kind of knew this would be where I was gonna live. I create video promotion content and motion graphics content for companies across the US, across Portugal. I work entirely remotely, which is great, which means I can work right here from my room uh, or out of a cafe, wherever I choose, which is free. I knew that I wanted to try out my life as a digital nomad and I didn't know where to start. And I knew that I wanted a place that offered a smooth transition. Everywhere I looked, it was like Lisbon kept calling my name. I'm a clinical psychologist and I'm also the founder of a mental health and wellness startup called Exploring Therapy. And Exploring Therapy is all about helping people build a life they don't need a vacation from. My startup is all about reducing the time that it takes and taking the stress off people's shoulders so that when they decide they want to get help and support, that they can get help immediately. The first time I moved to Lisbon was in 2013. Um, I did my master program here. I also fell in love with Lisbon and um, it's just um, the whole package of Lisbon, I would say, and made me want to come back to, to Lisbon. Um, after I finished my studies and then working for another two years back in Germany. I run TJPA, which is a marketing and advertising agency. We do initial brand identities, we create marketing collaterals and we um, also create video assets, mainly for small and medium-sized enterprises. So if you think of um, startups, um, mostly from the technology field, we help them to set up their initial marketing activities. Before Lisbon, I was living in Chicago, and I love that city. Like, it is a home for me, but everything moves so quickly. Uh, everybody's very work-focused, and in Portugal, it was a great opportunity to slow down, to put more attention on the details, to reflect on why I do what I do. After reading about how great everybody thought Lisbon was because of the weather, because of the people, because of how it's relatively more affordable than the other cities in Europe. And also it's got great sun, it's right by the ocean. I thought that I would move here sight unseen, never having come here before. And it was one of the best decisions I ever made. Lisbon is a city with thousands of years of history. Uh, it's an incredibly inspiring place to work, so it, it's no question that it, it attracts a lot of these creative types. One of the things I really benefit from is that Lisbon has this vibrant digital nomad community. There are events every day, um, all throughout the week, um, that are designed for entrepreneurs, designed for small business owners, and so many of these events are completely free, just given by fellow nomads who want to help the community and help people grow in their business. I think that the locals can benefit a lot from international entrepreneurs and working together with them, see how they create their business, how they grow their business as well. 
I think it's really important in order to help stimulate the economy here, to give back to the locals, to to share skills, to teach courses, to take courses, to work together with those people, see how they approach business, what kind of business ethics they have, what kind of growth drivers they see. Working more like locals than foreigners will help Portugal as a whole and make this whole transition uh, a lot easier for people coming in to work because it's, it's an incredible place. It's like you took all of the most adventurous entrepreneurs from around the world and you put them all into one city with great weather, great people, great food, and you just said, what are the possibilities in this place? It's, it's so exciting to me. Personally, I think I benefit of the city by being close to the beach and being close to um, very beautiful nature. I can just go on my motorbike, drive to the beach, spend two or three hours there in the afternoon or early evening, and that's a very nice reset for me. Besides that, I'm a passionate uh, street photographer, uh, which um, the city is also very nice to, to photograph. You know, these days I see less of a black and white between work and not work. And I think it's because I feel grateful, I feel like I'm fortunate enough that the things I do, some of them which earn an income, some of them which don't yet, are things I really care about. Advocating for mental health is something I really care about. I would do it whether I get paid for it or not. Getting to connect with people and inspire them to live lives that they love, I would do that whether I got paid or not. I love to travel as much as I possibly can. Uh, and along that just basically trying as many new things as I possibly can. And just traveling all over the country trying to get a sense of what the north and the south Portugal is like. So even when I'm not working for a client, usually I'm shooting a personal project, photography, anything that keeps the creative juices flowing. One of the things that makes me the most happy is when I'm able to do something to help people enjoy their lives more. You know, I think a lot of what makes me happy is seeing the way that my work affects others, whether it's other video creators that are saying, oh, like, that was cool, I like what you did with this and this. Spending time on things that I like and things that I value, and I don't really see a line in between personal life and hobbies and work that I do, so I'm lucky enough to have both connected very well together. Anytime that somebody else can get an emotional reaction from something that I've created, that's a huge reward for me. And I would say that's largely why I do what I do. I think we all want to feel like we exist for a reason and that we're not just here to eat, drink and be merry and then die, but that we're actually here to impact one another for good and to make a difference in each other's lives. When I'm doing that, whether it's helping some businesses on Google or helping my clients or just having a conversation with a friend and connecting about something, knowing that we might be a little bit different and a little bit better because of it, those are the things that make me happiest.